Who was that for? Quality control. That's three I've seen you off today. Yeah, and you're going to do what about it exactly? It's none of my business. You and Ferguson deserve each other. What's all that lot then? This lot, surprise I pay for representing you lot. Forms, 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 more forms. I thought councillors had uh, pen pushes to do all that lot for you. This is for the election. Actually, you'd think I'd be exempt being the incumbent. Well, I can't imagine why anybody would want to do it anyway. Well, it's a civic duty. You put a bit back. Mind you, I haven't really got time for all this with all my council business. Oh, come on, you don't do that much. You just like putting that word councillor in front of your name, don't you? Actually, if you must know, I am representing Weatherfield on a town twinning visit. Oh, yeah, where? Doesn't matter. I mean, the no, point is, I'm getting. Come on. It's Spain, the Costa del Sol. But it's work, it's not pleasure. Yeah. It, it, it. I'll get this. Hey, Toya, I've heard you have to sum for glass collecting. For a big career break, are you? No, I'm just making money to go to Lanzarote. Oh, well, the job's for Bowman as well as Potman, so you're not old enough. We'll have to just raise your holiday money somewhere else. Well, it's not an holiday. It's an international training camp. Uh, how about the windows? They could do the cleaning. No, we've got a window cleaner, sorry. Well, worth a try. Uh, I'll have an orange while I'm here, please. Bold? Uh, squash. Anything else? Yeah. Your number. This uh, international training camp, what's it for exactly? How to be an international class prat? You are. That chat up line, it ranks alongside a get your coat you've pulled or do you know where that dress would look good? On my bedroom floor. Oh, except you couldn't do that one, could you? Still living with your mum. Hey, it's, uh, it's Jason, isn't it? So? Yeah, I hope you're not trying to buy alcohol. Uh, look, it's just orange juice. Right, well, make sure that's all it is because we don't want any underage drinkers in here. Yeah, well, it's all right. We're staying. Trouble? Nah. Try it on with the women, though, don't we, Dougie? Uh -huh. You know, there's not a fella around. You know, it's been useful having you around here when I'm not. Good. Fancy staying? Full time? Yeah, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd love to, Dougie. <laughs> Cheers. Really. Thanks. Oh, great. Pour us one, will you love? What did you last slave dial? Oh, great. Pour us one while you're at it, will you, Peter? Yeah, Dougie, sure. No problem. Oh. So all that lot, then? Well, just a few bits and pieces that I thought I'd stick up in the pub. Now it's all mine. More rugby rubbish. <laughs> You'll be framing your jock strap and hanging that on the wall. Yeah, next. well, take the mickey all you like, but it's this sort of thing that gives a pub character. So is this you, then? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a Challenge Cup final 1980. Oh, that were a year, that were. A big name rugby player, then? Mm. Looks like you've made another conversion, Dougie. Yeah, well, uh, I don't like to brag. You don't have to. You hang it off the walls instead. Yeah, I did me bit on World of Sport after that game. Oh, right, you're famous then, yeah? So, uh, what was that like then? Lots of uh, birds chasing around after you outside nightclub, Dougie, that sort of thing. Well, I could tell you a few stories, yeah. Oh, I tell you. What I won't give for a bunch of man hungry groupies chasing after me. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, uh, come on then, Dougie. What were it like then being a, a woman magnet? <laughs> well, hardly say all of that. To be perfectly honest with you, I've never had much of a track record with lady. Yeah? Yeah, they always let you down, don't they? Mm. You know my wife, she took off when I were at sea. Oh, bad luck. Enjoy it while it's on offer, you don't get your fingers burned. That's my motto now. Yeah? Yeah. Mind you, not there's been much going around here for me since I arrived, apart from that, uh, that Karen lass at the factory, you know. Oh. Pick of a bad bunch. Right, barrel load of rough, that lot. Hey, do you mind? My man works at that factory, don't forget. Mm, that rests me case. Hi, right, Sawyer. Oh, are you sure, Kevin? The garage isn't the sort of place to work half cold. Yeah, well, it's my garage. Pipe. Right. Are you right, Kevin? Something wrong? Oh, you all set then, Steve? Uh huh. I've uh, brought a mate, if that's right. More the merrier. Vernon, Dougie, Peter. Hi, right, mate. Alright. You have, uh, Played before, I take it. My mum lets me go out at nights as well. Sorry, just checking. It's all right. All right, well, you better come through. We'll get started.
Send Matt through when he comes, will you, Joy? Oh, anything you say. <laughs> oh, would you believe it? Sorry, mate. You've been taking lessons from Vic, have you? Oh, it's still early yet, mate. Hello, lads. Well, as I live and breathe, Dr. Ramsden, I presume. Say hello, lads. Hi, hello. Come hello. on, take the weight off you, mate. All right, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Toya. Oh, you can fetch us a round of drinks and all, Toya. Uh, pints all round, lads, yeah? Yeah, yeah please, yeah. yeah. Uh, and a fresh bottle of scotch while you're at it. Anything else? Fresh pizza, or steak and chips? I mean, it's not like I'm busy out there on my own or anything. She always talks you like that, Buggy. Uh, bite's worse than her bark, don't worry. Yeah, well, I like a girl with a bit of spirit. You could sit on my lap if you wanted, love. Drop a few grapes into me, gob. It's big enough. <laughs> you what? Ignore them, Toya. <laughs> not difficult. Fancy it then, do you, Vern? Yeah, well, been we worse. She live in. She sleeps off at landing from Dougie. Ah, oh, perks of the job, eh? <laughs> yeah, calm down, calm down. Your deal, I think. Well, money. Instead of which, you've halved it. Why didn't you tell me? Well, to surprise you, I suppose. You're right. You won't let you mean. Are you gonna dump me then, or what? Will you stop asking me that? You sound pathetic. Right, can you drink up now, please? Come on. Let's go. I wish I could. Why have you had enough? It's like living in a madhouse in here. If Dougie and his mates keep me awake again, I'll go spur. Mm, men and the little games, eh? Oh, yes! Losing your touch there, changed. You sure you're not worried about Karen? The only thing you should drop it, Peter. I'll let him, if it's amusing him. Mind you, I suppose you're used to women like that, aren't you? You know, with uh, your family background. Look, you're pushing it now. I mean, it's hardly surprising you're going to fall for somebody like Karen, is it, if you've got a slapper for a mother? Hey, 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 hey! Whoa! Leave it! You've been warned, Peter! Come on, lads, calm down. Just because no woman round here would touch you with a cattle prod. So eh? what do you know about me? Well, I know a loser when I see one. No wonder your wife left you. All right. Here you. There's a fiver towards your phone bill. What? Phone the Samaritans. Be along Coulson. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey! All right, that's it. Both of you, out! What's going on? Now, you watch your tongue or else. Yeah, I think I'll be going as well. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'm sorry about this, Matt. Don't worry about it. trying to do? What do you mean? Was this your way of getting back at me because of Phil Simmons? What are you talking about? It's like living in hell since you took over this place. You know, I, I think I'm going mad. Yeah. Well, you know what to do if you don't like it. And it won't be a minute too soon. Oh, it stinks in here. Stale booze and fag ends. Edna's still doing the bar. No, I can't eat my breakfast in here. It'll turn my stomach. Well, then go to the calf. This is supposed to be my home, you know. Yeah, mine too. And I don't turn my nose up when you start wafting your perfume around, do I? I'm not wearing any perfume. Look, will you stop bickering? Hey, and who asked you to join in? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just sat here having my breakfast. All right, that's enough. Toy, if you don't like it, you know what you can do. And Peter, check them spirits, will you? And keep an eye on them Draymond. I reckon they've been helping themselves when they're down in the cellar. Right, boss, yeah. 25's a pound, love. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yeah? Your new place round here, is it? It's it to you. I'm going to tell Ferguson so we can throw me out again. Well, look, give over. I'm only asking. I thought maybe I could pop round with some bears. <laughs> Wouldn't bother. Friends like you, who needs enemies? <laughs> Must have got our bed the wrong side. Mm. Just back. Uh, three ten, love, please. You're made to yours. Yeah. Well, at least it used to be. Bye. Phil, this is stupid. We're mates. Are we? I'd rather kip in a box and sleep at the aiming camp. You're talking daft. There is no enemy. What do you call Dougie Ferguson after what he did? That was ages ago. And you got your revenge when you lost those council contracts. I helped you then, because I'm your mate. Look, it's silly you're not talking to me. I've not changed. Yes, you are. Shacked up with him. You've sold out. Nice house, nice job. You're all right. Sod the rest of us. We 
are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe this. You've been watering the scotch. What rubbish? So what are you doing then? Yes, yeah, so. But uh, don't tell Dougie, will you? <gasps> this is great. The spirits are down because what? You've been uh, nicking the bottles to flog, helping yourself. What's it got to do with you? Just keep your nose out, all right? Dougie's not a fool, you know. He'll find out. Yeah, only if you tell him. What are you, Dougie's little helper? Like you said, it's not to do with me. Just pack it in, all right? He'll cotton on sooner or later. He's not stupid. Dougie's fine. I'll, I'll just tell him we have the scotch during that poker game. And now you be a good little girl, right, Toya? And forget all about this, OK? Dougie wants you to fetch some mixers up. Right, and Toya, make sure you keep your gob shut, all right? Keep my gob shut? That's what you all want, innit? I'm just the dumb little barmaid who pulls pints. You know, I don't care what pathetic little scams you're pulling. Just don't involve me, all right? This used to be a really great little pub. I liked working here. And now it's just full of gamblers and snakes. Sorry. You all right? When I started here, I expected grief from the customers, not the staff. Is he giving you an hard time? You want to have a word with him? No, 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 it's nothing. Yeah, I'm surprised you stick it here, because when Natalie left, I thought you'd be off to some student gaff or something. I like it here. Well, I used to. Now I just feel like I'm in the way. Look, here's my mobile number. If you ever get in any trouble or that, just give us a ring. Or are you fancy doing something? You know. Thanks, Sam. Toya. Customer needs serving. I'll see you later. See you later. Sorry. You all right? When I started here, I expected grief from the customers, not the staff. Is he giving you an hard time? You want to have a word with him? No, no, no it's nothing. Yeah, I'm surprised you stick it here, because when Natalie left, I thought you'd be off to some student gaff or something. I like it here. Well, I used to. Now I just feel like I'm in the way. Look, here's my mobile number. If you ever get in any trouble or that, just give us a ring. Or are you fancy doing something, you know? Right, yeah, thanks, Sam. Toya, customer needs serving. I'll see you later. See you later. Then. Sam, have you heard anything from Kevin? No. Dennis has got a right strap on him. We've had to turn work away, you know, because Kev's got the pickup truck and that. I mean, we tried his mobile loads yeah, of times. Yeah, I tried him on his mobile. It switched off. Well, look, if you hear anything, will you let me know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Could have had an accident. He could be lying in a hospital. Oh, now you're being stupid. I mean, it's more likely he's sat round at her mates with his feet up. Have you tried Natalie? No. Well, there you are. And have gone there to moan about you marrying Danny and selling up. I mean, she'll love that. Yeah. You're probably right. Well, give her a ring. Toya, you I'll have the number. No, I don't fancy that. Oh, well, it's up to you. It's either that or Stu. Hiya. Working here today, then? Mm, you're always working somewhere. Right. Can I have uh, three and balm cakes and three custards, please? Eating or take out? Take out. No, that was a joke, because, uh, well, they're not all for you, are they? <laughs> Hang on. <Yeah. laughs> Coffee's on. Oh, oh, cheers, love. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, are you coming back with me to Much Wenlock? Yes. I don't want you worrying that I might be getting any wrong ideas. I wasn't. Good. Well, it should have been. Well, what I mean, uh, I'm inviting you as a friend or guest. So, of course, you'll be staying in the guest room. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, I just think it's good that we both know where we stand. And where we sleep. No, no, I appreciate you uh, making that clear. Thank you. 
So it was causing you concern? No. Nope. So do you ever get to any of them uh, student union gigs then? Yeah, you get some good bands. Do you have to be a student to get in? No, I'm going this Friday, yeah, yeah. Well, I could sign in if you want to come. Oh, yeah. Right, three ham bound cakes and three custard slices. That's uh, five fifty-five. Cheers. Keep change. Oh. Sit down, then. Uh, oh, yeah, we're... Right, right. right please, to you. Bye. Yeah, so that'd be great, then. But what sort of time are we talking? Sorry, what are you on about? Well, that student union gig you said you were going to, and if I wanted to come with you, you know, I could... Uh... Oh, right, yeah, um, well... We say about our fate in here. Sorted. Although I won't be going anywhere if I don't feel better than this. We could have a little trip to Wales, just across the border. Are you Gretchen asking me? No. What are you asking that for? Well, I'm always regretting things. I just wondered if other people were the same. Look, Elma, you know, when I've been visiting places, you're the person I've most pictured being with. Right? No, yeah. if I see you anywhere I like, I've made a little mental note saying <laughs> I must remember to bring Alma here. And like when I was finishing the house off, I thought, <laughs> I hope Alma likes this. <laughs> Look, it's a gospel truth, really. Oh. Are you working tonight? Does it look like it? No, I'm here as a pain punter and I'd like a pint, thanks. Hey, how do, boss? Evening. <laughs> so, uh, when's his next poker session, then? Well, I thought you'd have learned your lesson by now. No, nah, I've always been bad at that. Uh, what about Friday? No, I'm all right, so long as it's not just the two of us. Right. Look, Dougie, do I have to work tonight? I'm feeling rotten. Yeah, well, someone has to. I've got to do one at the rugby club. Well, Betty's on, isn't she? I'm not having Betty left on her own. Well, look, uh, I don't mind doing a shift. If that'll solve it for you. Yeah? No, I'm no doubt, son. Knight in shining armour. Look, you don't have to be nice to me because you think I might tell about you helping yourself. I'll not be. Because I won't. Why should I? I just feel like being helpful. And if I were you to I'd take advantage of that because you never know. It might not last. How are you doing? It's just an headache. It'll go. Too much studying, that. <laughs> Too much working in here at the cafe, you mean? Well, look, if you ever want me to uh, cover for you again, just let me know. All right? Oh, now you're wondering why I'm being nice to you, eh? Maybe it's because uh, I'm grateful you're not snitching on me to Dougie, or maybe it's that I'm a lot nicer bloke than you thought and all you need to do is uh, get to know me. Eh? Oh, that's where you've got to, Jack Cousteau, eh? Come on, in there, we're getting busy. Yes, sir. I'll be right there, sir. <laughs> I don't know what's getting into him. You're going to be here all night, aren't you, Betty? Well, yes, but why? He's not misbehaved, does he? No, no, he's, he's been right nice to me. Oh. It's just me. Right, oh, love. Oh, yeah? So, we're still on for tonight? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Sorted. See you later. Hi. Didn't know you were going out with Chunky Monkey. And um, what's it to you? Uh, I ordered the orange. I didn't order the sandwich. I know, but uh, after I saw you jogging in those little shorts. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I felt sorry for you running on skinny ankles like that. You looked as though they could snap under the weight. <laughs> I thought that sandwich might put a bit of meat on them. <laughs> Can I get you out else? No, we'd best get off and get a bit of a trek. <laughs> Easter break, give some wine out. Well, I think so. We'll have to see what Madden thinks. Ah, uh, Madden already knows it's going to be lovely. Bye, darling. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Um, a whiskey, please, and a gin. Anything with them? No, me, please. Oh, right. Uh, Hi, Jean. Yes, ladies. Um, orange juice and a gin. See you, love, please. Yes. So what's this earth-shattering gossip you've got for me? Um, I'm afraid you've got competition. Fred's found himself a new lady friend. Oh, really? Well, he's a free agent, isn't it? Who is she? Her name's Eve, and that's all I know, really. He's been keeping her under wraps. Oh. So what's she like? Quite nice, actually. In her forties, no older. Oh. Fred's quite taken. Sounds a bit young for Fred, actually. <laughs> it's no fool like an old fool, is uh, it? There you go. Oh, that's smashing. Uh, what are you doing? We're from Weatherfield Council Trading Standards Department. Just carrying out some tests. 
Well, I'll get the boss. Yes, I'll get you better. You're wasting your time, love. If we were to done drinks in here, there'd be hell to pay from regulars. Your regulars may not be as discerning as you think. Yes, how can I help you? Are you the licensee? Dougie Ferguson, what about it? Weights and measures, Mr Ferguson. And, uh, this whiskey is of dubious integrity. And um, what's that supposed to mean? It appears to be watered down. Uh, that's nonsense. The hydrometer reading speaks for itself. We'll need to take a sample of each of your wines, beers and spirits, Mr Ferguson. What do you think about this? Look, I, I'm, I'm sure there's been a mistake. I am sorry, Mr Ferguson, there's definitely no mistake. <sighs> Who's this lot, Dougie? Trading standards. Uh, did, did somebody call you in? I have no idea, sorry. Is there out else besides the whiskey? Actually, I don't think there is. Yeah, I've only just taken over myself. I had two partners until a few weeks ago. Oh, here's one now. Ask him. We never got up to anything underhand. Is this man who conned me out of this place asking for a character reference? Yeah, well, maybe not him. Watch your threat, please, Gina. Uh, you like a drop of water in your whiskey, don't you, Fred? You know very well I don't. Now, but a threat. Somebody's making more than threats. These are from weights and measures. Somebody's been watering the whiskey. Oh, that explains it. Since Mr Ferguson took sole responsibility for this establishment, I've never been up so many times at night. Huh. Well, Mr Ferguson, we're finished here. You'll be hearing from us. She's not the only one who's finished here either. I say she's not the only one. Maybe you should make him an offer he can't refuse. Offer to buy the pub back cheap. <laughs> Bail him out. Not in this world. Don't think I didn't see you laughing just now, lady. You are. I wasn't. This is just your style, isn't it? Fighting dirty. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Like when you went to the papers over that nonsense with Phil Simmons. Nigh on ruined me and now you're having another go. You bar me. Tell you wouldn't do that, Dougie. Yeah, well, somebody did. I can't think of anyone else that would do out that sly or that flaming daft. I saw Simmons in here with her the other day. What, uh, that weasel looking bloke? Oh, he put you up to it, did he? Eh? I don't know how you've got the nerve to point the finger at me. Who do you think's been watering the whiskey down? Yeah, did it yourself. It wasn't me. Well, why call trading standards in if they're not going to find out? I don't believe this. Yeah, well, you can believe this, lady. You're out. Yeah, too flaming right I am. I'm not going to stand here and listen to you two talk to me like this. You can stuff your job, Ferguson. Stuff it where the sun doesn't shine. Hey, I've come from Hello. Hello. Hi. Thought you were moving out. No, I'm sure you'd rather get a couple of heavies to chuck me out on the street. That's more your style. Don't need heavies to deal with a daft lass. I'll shift my stuff tomorrow when I'm good and ready. What's going on? Oh, it's not even worth explaining. Oh, and now, uh, two weeks' wages you owe me. I'll have it now. Don't worry. You'll get what's coming to you. You can drop us off here, mate. You don't want to go to the Rovers? Nah, we'll walk from here. That's nine pound then. Keep change. You're in there tonight, kid. Nah. Hey, I bring a lot of couples home. Give it a kiss for me. <laughs> hey, okay, but where have you been, hey? You've not got that pullock you reckon is marrying my wife in here, have you? Go on, Kevin. Oh, I'm waiting here for Danny boy. Yeah, come on, Kevin, what you know? Right, I tell you what, you're better off with me than you are here, sunshine. A woman, do the dirty on you. Love you one minute, stab you in the back the next. Come on, Sam, leave him. Right, yeah, me too. It made me forget this place. Wait, do you want me to see to the door? No, I'm all right here. Oh, no way. Oh, what, what's wrong, Tori? I thought, I thought you really liked me. Yeah, but... Look, I'll see you, Sam, all right? Yeah.
Ring! It's on it, Jack! No, no, it's Ring! I've said already, it's Ring! <laughs> Over! Well, let, let's get some chips. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's all five in the morning, mate. Best you're going to use a bowl of gold, please. <laughs> oh, hey. Look at the state of you. <laughs> Sally's going to kill you. <laughs> no, 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 she won't. Because. She loves me! <laughs> she loves you, mate. She does. Come on, let's get you home. She does love me. You ready? Oh, oh, I'm ready. One, <laughs> two, three! <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Nearly did. See you in the morning. Can't wait to see you. Danny, Danny, oh. Danny, see you, see you. Toya. 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 It's me! It's Jason! It's alright. It's alright. I'm not leaving you like this. Come on. Come on. I'm taking you home. Come on. It's alright. Well, I'll tell you what's happened. Hey, steady on. Oh, come back to bed. No, I can't sleep. Oh, good. <laughs> What's brought all this on? Oh, I don't know, Janice, but there's something about this dressing gown that does things for me. Blimey, you must be desperate. So what do you say, eh? We work up a bit of an appetite, then eggs and bacon all round. Go on, then. Show us what you made of. Oh, you don't, <laughs> babe. We're nearly there. Nearly. Mind a step. Come on. Come on. Hey, there's me thinking you were past all this. Right. Uh, who the flaming next start? Oh, get rid of them. You go make yourself comfortable, my little lovebird. And I'll be right back. Well, hurry up. Hang on, hang on. Keep your hair on. <laughs> what the hell's to you two? I found it in the kennel. Sorry. She won't tell you much. She's pretty shook up. Janice! Janice, come here! What's going on? Oh my god! Did you fall over or something? She was lying on the ground when I found her. I almost tripped over her. What's up with your face? She, she lashed out. She must have scratched me. Tell you. <laughs> She's been drinking. I can tell that much. I can smell the alcohol. I should go. Yeah, all right, love. Well, thanks for bringing her on. <laughs> What on earth did you get like this? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You must know. I can't remember. Oh, did you have too much to drink? Is that it? No. Well, what's happened to you then? <laughs> because you've hurt your head. Your head's bleeding. Oh, please. Janice, I don't reckon she's up to this. Right, well, you go over that road and get that mat. She needs to see a doctor. No. Yes, you do. You're injured. I don't know what to do. We might be serious. Right, I'll be as quick as I can, eh? Right. Well, if you weren't drunk and you haven't had an accident, what happened to you? Mum, I don't know. I didn't see him. Yeah, all right, all right. What? Look, have you got a sec? Can you come have a look at her, tell you? Oh, look, not now, Les. Look, I'll, I'll give you an emergency surgery number, all right? Please, Doc. Please. She's in a pretty bad way. Yeah, all right, look. Wait here, I'll get me bag. So. Who were you with? And where were you going when it happened? <laughs> Mum, stop it. Please, Toya, come on. You've got to try. <laughs> I was coming back from town with Sam. Sam? <laughs> and where had you been with him? 
to the uh, student union to see some bands. And what happened after that? Nothing. Uh, we, we got a cab back. He, he walked me home and said goodnight to him. And... Tell you. I heard someone call my name. A man? Mm. What did he do to you? Did he touch you? Come on, Toya. Yeah. He uh, came at me from behind. He grabbed me and uh, I don't know, he, he, he was holding me. And? I, I must have fallen. Uh, and I don't know. He must have. He must have. Mum, it hurts inside. <laughs> Listen to me, right? You have got to remember everything that happened to you. Right? Everything. Do you understand me? I can't. Yes, you can. You've got to. Because that's how they're going to get him. That's how they'll catch him. We're going to call the police. And you've got to tell them everything. And they'll catch him, I promise. It's going to be all right. It'll be all right because I'm not going to let this happen to you. Oh, Mum. Toya, please, think for me. Think. Who did this to you? Oh. It's all right. 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 I've got you. Oh, my beautiful little girl. Mm. All right, Toya. Looks like you've had a bit of a knock to the head. Hey. It's all right. I just want to have a little look. At least the doctor's here. If he can sort her out, patch it up. Don't think it's going to be quite that easy. What sort of animal mugs a young girl, eh? Oh, don't. I mean, what did he get off her? A couple of quid? A bus pass? Les, whoever did this to her wasn't interested in her mother. What do you mean? Jan? She's been raped. Toya. If they're going to stand any chance of catching whoever did this to you, you've got to go and get properly examined. But there are certain procedures, evidence. I can't. Please, I can't. I'm sorry, love. You've got to. You've got to go to the hospital. And I'm... I'm calling the police. I'll tell you something for now. You better get this animal before I do. It's all right, Jan. No, it isn't all right, though, is it? Mrs. Battersby, I appreciate how you must be feeling. Oh, and how would you know, eh? How would you know? I'm sorry. It's OK. Listen, I'll tell you what you can do for me is to find Toya a change of clothes, because at some point we're going to need to examine what she's wearing. Yeah, all right. It's okay, Toya. No one's going to make you do anything you don't want to, all right? I don't want to talk about it. I don't know what to say. I know this is difficult. If you can just try to tell me what happened. What's the use? I don't know. Don't you see? I don't know. You all right, love? I'm gonna have to be, aren't I? 
Otherwise, I'm no use to our Toya. Are you sure you don't want me to come? Because I can. No, love. No, you're all right. I'll give you a ring, yeah? As soon as they say out. I better go. All right. Hey. You hang in there, Toya, love. We're all thinking about you. Please, I, I, I want a, a woman, Doctor. She is a woman, don't worry. It's, uh, it's our experience that sometimes people find this a bit more difficult with a loved one present. Sorry? Toya might find it easier if you wait outside while the doctor examines her. All oh, right, yeah. I'll, I'll be outside then. Toya? Now, Toya, if you wouldn't mind popping behind that screen for me and the doctor will be in in a second. If at any point in the examination you want us to stop, you just tell the doctor. We'll try and make this as easy as we can for you. You're Jason in? Uh, yeah, he's through there. I'm sorry to hear about your toy, yeah? Yeah. So am I. Les, how's toy? Is she going to be all right? I don't know. She's down in the hospital at the moment. Listen, Jason. What else do you know about our toy? What do you mean? Them scratches on your face. All that blood. You said she lashed out. I've told you. She was confused. Panicking. She didn't know who I was. Most of it was toys, you know, from when I was helping her up. So, what are they doing with her at the hospital? Checks, you know. So what happened next, day? Eh? What? I mean, you scarpered pretty sharpish after you brought her back. I told you, I didn't know what else to do. But I'm sure Jason's told you everything he knows, Les. Look, all I know is she's been mugged. All right? She hasn't been mugged, has she? That's not what happened to her. What are you saying, Les? <laughs> She's been... She was... Some animal forced himself on her and left her there in the gutter. Well done, Toya. Are you okay? Well, that's that bit over. If you like, you can get showered and dressed in a minute. It'll make you feel better. Thanks. It's just a couple of things that we need to go over first. Are you currently taking oral contraceptives? No. Right. Well, in situations like this, we'd probably advise you to take the morning after pill. It's just as an extra precaution. And I'm going to give you our phone number here at the centre. Now, there's somebody on call here 24 hours a day, so you can call any time. We're all here to help you. And what if I get AIDS? Will you help me through that? We don't need to talk about that right now. Talking won't help anyway, will it? Is there anything about your attacker that you recognised? Anything at all? A certain smell, perhaps? His voice? I can't remember. Toya, I know this is difficult for you, but if we're going to catch this person, we need as much information as we can. OK. What about after the attack? 
What's the first thing you remember there? It was cold. Really cold. And my head. And everything hurt. I couldn't work out where I was. What we're doing on the ground. I remember hearing some voices. Voices? Men's voices. Laughing. I, I couldn't really hear. And then, uh, well, Jason was there and, and he picked me up. And, God. Toya? Toya, what is it? What did he do to me? He could have done anything and, and I wouldn't know. All I remember is waking up. Jason was there. Oh, look, it's all getting muddled up. Please, look, can we stop there? I mean, look at her. Of course. Toya, I know it doesn't feel like it, but you're doing really well here, OK? You're doing really well. Is this what you were wearing this morning? Yeah. So what are you doing washing it? It was covered in blood. Exactly, it was evidence. Evidence of what? I haven't done anything wrong. Oh. You know that, sweetheart. I know that, but the police don't. So? So you saw the way that Les reacted. He's not going to be the only one. What are you trying to say, Mum? I'm saying that until they catch someone, you better play by the book. Because this could look like you're destroying evidence, and that makes folks suspicious. That's the last thing you need with a rapist on the loose. What's going on? What are you lot doing here? And you are? Uh, Ferguson, Dougie Ferguson, I own the Rovers here. What's happened? I'm sorry, sir, you can't come through. We're just about to seal off the area. We'll need to search your yard as well. What? We believe this was the scene of a serious crime in the early hours of this morning. Well, what sort of crime? Well, what are we talking about here? Can you stop anyone else coming out here till further notice? We'll need to speak to you later. Me? No need to panic, Mr. Ferguson. We'll be speaking to as many local people as possible. You better come in. What do you want? Well, I just thought I'd come around see if Toy was all right. It's just, well, I saw the police car earlier. He's a bit worried. Worried, were you? Who for? Her? Or you? Well, what about me? Why should I be worried? You told me, Sunshine. Come on. Where were you last night? Sorry? Well, I told you said you were out with her. Well, I was. I mean, we went to student uni together to see a few bands. And then what? Well, nothing. I mean, we got a cab back together and... Look, Les, what's going on? Has something happened to Toya? Yeah. You could say that. Last night... She was raped. What? Well, how could she have been? I mean, I told you I was with her all last night. So you keep saying. So come on. What happened next? You got a cab. You walked her home. Well, I, le I left her on the corner. Yeah. You left her. And while she was there, on her own, some creep, some animal, attacked her and left her for dead. What's he doing here? Oh, Toya, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realise. Mum, make him go away! Toya? So Toya's all right. I think you'd better go now. Come on. Been down here. I don't know. Toya, I know it's hard, but it's four o'clock in the morning, love. You've really got to get some sleep. I want to sleep, but I can't. Part of me keeps thinking that if I could just 
go to sleep. And when I wake up, it'll all be over. You know? Never really happened. No. I wish you were right. But I know that ain't gonna happen. Because when I lie still, close my eyes, I can feel his hands on me. Feeling, Mum. I can. I never saw his face. I only heard him for a moment. But I can feel it all over me. What's happened? I don't know. Poor Toya, I hope she's all right. Well, it looks like the police are on top of it. I think they're going to start knocking on doors. Do you think so? Well, it's usual with something like this, isn't it? Somebody might have seen someone. Or be responsible. What, from round here? Now, don't say anything like that. Where are you going? For the walking space, where do you think? Well, don't go too far. Because the police are around and they probably want to talk to you. Well, they'll have to come and find me then, won't they? Hey, steady on. Toya has been attacked, you know. Yeah, no. And I was the one that found him, remember? There's more to life in the street. I've got the athletic association on my back for the money for Lanzarote. I'll see you in a bit. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming, I'm coming. Another three hours to opening, you know. We're familiar with the licensing laws, Mr. Ferguson. DC Flannery. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, this will be about that business down the Ginnell, I suppose. It was a serious sexual assault, and we'd like to ask you some questions. You'd never think looking at her sleeping, would you? You'd never think what she's been through. She cried and cried till she were exhausted. Didn't think she were ever gonna stop. I know. I heard her. I was gonna come down, Jambo. I just couldn't. It's all right, Bob. I know. I want to help. I want to say something. But what? What can you say, John, when something like this happens? What difference does it make what you say? I don't know. If only I could get my hands on the bastard. No, Les. That ain't gonna get us anywhere. Look, the police will catch him. That's what they're there for. Yeah, well, they'd better. Oh, come on, Les, please. It's taking care of our Toya that we should be thinking about. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but how? Like dealing with the rest of the muck life throws at you, I suppose. One step at a time. Come here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> uh, who were the girl, by the way? She was local. Mm. So what time did you get to bed on Friday night? Well, uh, a lot later than usual, as it happens. Uh, must have been getting on for... Four, 4.30. Well, how's that then? Well, I had a few friends in here for a drink after closing. Uh, my guests, you understand. All of them bored. We were playing cards. But you can't remember hearing anything as you were going to bed? No. Why? Was that when it happened? Can you tell me who these friends of yours were? Of course. Uh, there was Peter Barlow. He's my barman. Uh, Steve McDonald and Vic Desai, they run the taxi business on Victoria Street. And Les Battersby from number five. And you'd all been drinking quite heavily, had you? Yeah, <laughs> we'd had a few. Well, you're not suggesting that any of them. Come on, I know these blokes. Not one of them would do out like that, attacking a girl. I'm sure, Mr Ferguson. Well, thank you for your help.
We'll have a chat with your friends, but we might want to check back with you again, Mr. Ferguson. No problem. Whatever help you need. I just hope you catch the scumbag. We will. Is that about the girl who got attacked out back? Yeah. Still haven't caught him yet, then. Did they, did they say who she was? No. You know what they say? Most of the time it's someone the girl knows. There we go. Thanks. Have you seen what's in the papers? A girl's been attacked behind the Rovers on Saturday morning. Oh, no. oh never! There were a police car down the road earlier on. Well, did does this paper say who it was? No, it just says she was local. Does it say when? Uh, early hours. Oh, I don't know where the world's coming to. It hasn't seen five minutes since the police were digging up a murder victim, and now this. I just think we were in our beds while something like this was going on, just yards from the back door. Oh, it gives you the shivers. Have you heard? Apparently a girl's been attacked. Yeah, we heard. Roy, can I have a word? Yes, yes, Janice. What, what, what can I do for you? Well, it's how I tell you. She's not going to be in today. She's uh, feeling a bit under weather. Oh dear, well, it's nothing serious, I hope. No, no, just a touch of flu, I don't say. No tells. Well, if you don't mind me saying so, you, you, you seem a bit under the weather yourself. Do I? Well, the <laughs> soldier on. Right. Mr. Heidel's just called. He wants us to look after another young girl. Her name's Fiona. She sounds very posh. Oh, I wonder if she's of Irish descent. I wouldn't know. <laughs> well, Fiona is the female form of the Gaelic name Fion. He was a legendary Irish hero who became all wise after eating an enchanted salmon. Oh, well, uh, maybe you better get down fishmongers then, because she's coming Wednesday. Hi, Viv. Hi, hello. Hey, it's great work, isn't it? I could watch it all day. Hey, have you still seen the papers? No. Some girls attacked out back the Rovers on Friday night. Are you joking? What, you mean sexually? Uh, well, it sounds like it. Hey, it could have happened when we were walking out the pub then, couldn't it? Yeah, it could have. You weren't on the prowl, were you, Vern? Very funny. You went up to Naughty's, were you? That night I lost you. Hey, look, no one was keeping an eye on you either that night, mate. No one's bad with me, mate. Yeah, well, I'm sure that'll convince the coppers to cross you off the list. If you ask me, it'd be some girl who fell out with a fella. Yeah, well, let's put the wind up, Bobby. Not a surprise. Good news for us, though, eh? Uh, like how? Well, women would be too scared to walk the streets at night, won't they? They'd be ordering cabs. Wonder how she is. Going through the mill, I imagine. Hey. Here you go. A Battersby Triple B Special. Bangers, bacon and beans. With a side order of egg and fried bread. Oh. Thanks, Les, but I'm not hungry. Look, you ought to get something inside you, love. Look, I can't eat, honest. I'd only puke it up. I'm only trying to take care of you, you know. Yeah. Look, uh, what time are you seeing the coppers? Don't know. About half twelve. Still can't tell them anything, though. You've got to try, Toya. It's the only way you're going to catch this pervert. Yeah, but he came at me from behind. I hit me head. You've got to think hard, love. Maybe if you didn't see somebody, you might have seen somebody who did. Look, I didn't see anyone. Just Sam and the taxi driver. What about Sam? Could he have come back? What? No! No, of course he didn't! Of course he didn't! Oh, just leave me alone! Toya! What's going on? You're all right, love. I'm with you. Toya. I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to upset you. You know that, don't you? Yeah. I just want this blood caught. Yeah, me and all. Come on, love. Um, the girl that was attacked it wasn't Toya, was it? Raped, you mean? He raped her, the animal. I'm sorry, mate. 
Listen, um, anything you want, you know, time off work, whatever, it's yours, mate. The only thing I want is the swine that did this. And listen, till the police get him, every bloke in this street's in the frame, including you. Hey, you're not gonna believe what I've just seen. Not his call being kidnapped by a little green man, but don't worry, Vera, they're just taking him home. No, Kevin Webster coming out of Sally's. So? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Of course it is, yeah. I mean, that's why at wedding we're called off, because they're back together. Vera, love, if I were you, I'd start carrying something heavy in my pockets. You what? Why? Because one of these days, your flights of fancy are going to take you away for good. Oh, shut up. Go on. With a bit of luck. Half a lager, love. Hey, I've just been speaking to Les. The girl that got attacked was Toya. What? No. But I had the police in here this morning asking questions. They never said it were Toya. Well, they wouldn't, would they? They only say as much as they have to. And don't forget, all those blokes were suspects, aren't we? No wonder they were interested in us playing cards. I don't believe you two. Toya's been raped and all you're worried about is whether you're suspects or not. You're right. Let's just hope she hasn't been too badly hurt. Doug it, you're talking about it like she's been knocked over or something. She's been raped. You can't just bandage her up and wait for it to mend. She might never get over it. I don't know if you feel like talking, Toya. I understand perfectly if you don't. But the fact is, the more you can tell us about what happened and the sooner you can tell us, the better chance we have of catching the man who attacked you. I've already told her. I don't know anything. I got banged on the head. Please, just try to think. What do you think I've been doing since this happened? All I can do is think about what happened in the alley and what he did to me. Yes, Toya. I understand. Yeah, but it doesn't make any difference because I still don't know anything. I don't even know what I'm doing here. It's a waste of flaming time. Hey! Shh! It's not. Of course it's not. The sergeant here, she just wants to catch this blog. What? Do you think I don't? Do you think if I knew who it was, I'd be here? I would find the rat myself and take a bloody carving knife to him. You've got every right to be angry. It's like I don't even know who I am anymore. It's like everything that ever happened to me, anything that was God or that I laughed at. It's like it happened to someone else. And all I've got left is what happened in that dirty alleyway the night before last. Look, Sergeant, you know, I, I really don't think that she's ready for all this yet. <laughs> No, Mum, it's all right. Ask me your questions. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. How's Toya? Oh, she's not very good. She's with the police now. But she says she can't remember anything. I don't know. Maybe that's for the best. Look, Les, I do volunteer work at Women's Crisis Centre. I was thinking, if you like, I could call around and have a word with her. Might help. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. I mean, me and Charlie's were doing our best. But, well, I don't know. It's like treading on eggshells. I know. I'll see you. All right. DC Flannery. Are you Mr. Grimshaw? No, my name's Stringer. You to see Jason, then? That's right. Right, well, if I come through. Jason? It's the police. Hiya. Hello, Jason. I'm DC Flannery. I want to talk to you about Saturday morning, when you find Miss Batsby. You're OK. 
There's no real need for you to stay, Mr Stringer. Yeah, well, his mum's not here at the moment, so I'll stop if it's all the same with you. It's all right, Dennis. I'm not a kid. If you don't mind, Mr Stringer. Fair enough. I don't really know how. I just found her on ground. I thought she'd been knocked out and mugged. What made you think she'd been unconscious? Well, you know, she looked a bit groggy. You're a runner, are you? Yeah, I was out training yesterday morning. That's when I found her. Must be serious to be out running before six in the morning. Yeah, I am. And that scratch on your face. How'd you come by that? Now, you used to work behind the bar at the Rovers, but that ended recently. Why? I had a row with Dougie Ferguson, the landlord. Reckoned I'd reported him for watering the whiskey down. I hadn't told him to stuff his job. She lived there and all. With Ferguson? Not like that. She were a lodger, sort of. But apart from this argument, how did you get on with the landlord? All right. <laughs> on and off. He used to fight like cat and dog. Not for a while. Not till this whiskey business. I see. Now, living together under the same roof, he never made any approaches towards you? No. Do any other men work behind the bar at the Rovers? Peter Barlow. And you get on with him? Tolerate him. He's a slime ball. But no worse than a load of other blokes, I suppose. And the man you were with just before the attack, Sam Kingston, you say you're nothing more than friends? That's right. And he sees it that way, does he? Toya? He did try to kiss me, yeah, after we got out the taxi, but I didn't want to rush it. I see. Tell me, had the two of you been drinking? Yeah. So what? I need to get a full picture. Well, we didn't have a fight, if that's what you're thinking. It's all, yeah. It's all right. And it wasn't Sam. It wasn't anybody I know. Toya, you don't know that. And you said they used your name. I work in a bar. It could have been any one of a hundred blokes that have been in the Rovers. Yes, it could. On the other hand, 70% of rapes are committed by a man known to the victim. You have to face it, Toya. Whoever attacked you could well be someone you know. How you doing, mate? Sure. Had it much fancy the Rovers tonight. You never know who you might be drinking with. I wish you. Sometimes she just cries and cries. Sometimes she just sits there. Like she's died while we weren't looking. That'd be the shock. What the hell kind of animal does that to an innocent girl? Waits in the dark and you can't call that a man. No. They'll get him. Police got DNA, you can't hide from that. Oh, Toya can't hide neither. She'll never be able to hide from the bastard that did this to her. And I can't help her, Dennis. Yeah, of course you can. I can't. I want to. I want to hold her and tell her everything's all right. Like I did when she was a little kid, when she had a bad nightmare. But this isn't a bad dream, Dennis, is it? If I tell her she's all right, I'm lying. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I haven't got a clue. It's going to be hard for all of you. The truth is, I'm a crap cat. I always have been. And now, and now when she really, really needs someone, she's stuck with me. Hey, now, stop beating yourself up. How the heck are you supposed to know what to do or say at the minute? I, I wouldn't. 
and be scared to death. You just got to be strong for her, and you just got to love her, and you'll get through this. You'll see. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Hey, hello. This young girl, Fiona, did Mr Hartnell happen to say why she was in care? Oh, yeah, she's one of them home alone kids. Her mum took off on holiday, left her to fend for herself. Oh, beyond building. Mm. How can a mother do that? Go off sunning herself and leave her child behind, unattended, without care in the world? I know, but it's what happens, isn't it? That's why there's people like us. Um, tea and a bacon butter to take away, please. Here. Coming up, love. Hey, is everything all right? I'm just seeing two coppers coming out of your house. What? Just two coppers? Well, one in uniform and one in plain clothes, but he may as well have had a blue light flashing on his head. <laughs> yeah, it's not still in that poor girl that got attacked, is it? Uh, yeah, it was uh, our Jason that found her. Oh. So you all know it was then? You know, this girl. It's nobody we know, I hope. Um, it was Toya Battersby. Oh, my word. Oh, my I suppose you've heard what happened the other night. What with Toya? It's a shock, isn't it? Yeah, we're four o'clock in the morning, though. What time's that for the last to be out? Yeah, all the nice girls are tucked in by then, aren't they? Mind your way, some of them walk around, you know what I mean, half dressed. Uh, I'm just asking for trouble if you ask me. Oh, thanks. You know, I just can't believe it. Poor Toya, she's a little more than a child. Yeah. I mean, what kind of a person does such a thing? 